Hey everybody, this is Jim, and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. Now last time we went over string tests inside of an if statement. Today I wanted to go over some actual examples of string tests. Now say for example you had a program that would check to see who the user was that was running the program, and if it was a specific user, then you would perform a certain set of actions. Otherwise, you would just continue on. So, say that person, that specific user's name was Bob. So let's. This is how you would do that test. You would do an if double square bracket open. You have to put your space in, and you have your double square bracket closed, and of course your space are there too. And this would be your variable, your username. And in order to get the value, you put a dollar sign in front of it. And we're going to check it against Bob, B-O-B, -B, all lowercase, because that's the username we have for this example. Now, if the value within username is lowercase b, lowercase o, lowercase b, then we get inside of the then construct, the then part of the if then construct. So this test right here is true if the value inside of username is BOB. -B. It matches BOB. -B. It doesn't match it doesn't match lowercase b capital O, lowercase b, nor does it match capital B, lowercase o, lowercase b. This, these sets of tests here are case sensitive. Now that's an exact match right there because we're searching for b, o, b, all lowercase. But however, there's going to be times when you want to do a search that's not quite as exact. Say for example you have a list of all the files on your computer and you want to find any file that starts with the word Oracle and has any three characters after it. Corn Shell allows you to do that type of search. It, it's a fuzzy search, a wildcard search. And here is how we would do it. If the value in file name is equal to Oracle, question mark, question mark, question mark. What a question mark means inside of these tests right here is any single character. So this matches this test comes out true if the value inside of file name starts with Oracle and that is case sensitive they, they have to be all lowercase and has three more characters it could be any three characters but it does have to be three characters now the one thing I want you to note that's very important here is that this value right here is not enclosed in double quotes. In order for the question mark to have that wild card meaning of any single character, you cannot put this in double quotes. If you do put it in double quotes, what this test will actually say is, is the value of file name equal to Oracle question mark, question mark, question mark it won't mean Oracle followed by any three characters. Okay, so we went over an exact match, which was looking for the word Bob, and then we went over a match where we said we know it starts with Oracle and has three characters after it. It could be any three. Let's get even a little more general than that. what this test does right here 
This will be true if the value within file name, this variable, starts with the letter lowercase a and is followed by anything or nothing. That's what that asterisk means. It means zero or more characters. So this will match lowercase a followed by nothing, in other words just lowercase a by itself, or lowercase a followed by any number of characters, and they could be any characters. It could be a b b a, it could be a by itself, it could be a asterisk, that will also match because the asterisk is a character, or it could be a q l t m five six seven eight two colon parenthesis. It will match anything of any length. And again, what I want to remind you is that in order to take advantage of this while carding, you cannot have this string here in parentheses. If you have the string in parentheses, then it will only match a lowercase a followed by an asterisk. So once again, just to go over, you can do exact matches with characters. If you want to do wild carding and you want to find a single character, any single character, use a question mark. If you want to say zero or more characters, you use an asterisk. And to use wild cards, the string within side of the test cannot be enclosed in double parentheses.